Hello guys, welcome back again to our channel. My name is Velile Ngosi. In this video, I'm working on a previous question paper of Life Sciences Paper 1. So the paper was written in November 2022. So this question is based on human reproductive system. As you can see, these are the sperm cells. So I will be working on this question and if you want to answer the question before you see the solutions then you can post the video here then answer this question i hope the questions are visible so if they are not then you can continue as they will be visible when i answer the question so without wasting more time let's get to it So first of all, before I show the questions, I would like to analyze the diagram. So the, the diagram below shows the structure of a normal and abnormal sperm. The diagram are not drawn on a scale. So this is the information that we are given. As you can see, we've got two sperms. One is normal, one is abnormal. So why we say this is abnormal? As you can see, this sperm, this one has a round head and then a normal sperm do not have a round head it has a oval head and then again the normal sperm has a chromosome which a chromosome is the one that is responsible to penetrate the egg the ovum during fertilization so uh, this is this one i will say this one is abnormal and this one it's normal but first of all let me label this the parts here uh, number a it's a acrosome so like i just say this is the acrosome its function it contains enzymes and then the enzyme helps with penetrating the ovum during fertilization so this is the function of this acrosome and then number b it's a nucleus so it's the part that contains genetic materials so number b it's a nucleus so the nucleus contains 22 autosomes and one sex chromosome so this uh, sex chromosome is either x chromosome or a y chromosome so there it contains 23 chromosomes and then number c is the it's the middle part so this middle part is filled with mitochondria so that is where the energy is produced so this energy is used for this sperm to move so the energy is produced in the metal part of the sperm cell because this metal part contains mitochondria so this is where the energy is produced so as you can see this this one is the health one and this one is the abnormal one so now let's get to the questions uh, like every day the questions will be here and then the solutions will be here so like let's get to the first question first question say number 2.2.1 say identify part a so the part a like i just said part a it's an acrosome it's the one that is responsible to penetrate the ovum during fertilization so 2.2.1 the answer is acrosome so then question the next question 2.2.2 .2 say describe the role of the structure p during fertilization so the structure p it's a nucleus and the nucleus contains genetic material so during fertilization the structure that gets into the ovum is the head only so the head is the one that gets into the ovum to transmit the genetic material so because p it contains the genetic material is the one that diffuses with the nucleus of the ovum then that is the role of of the nucleus so to answer this question then you must be clear so 2.2.2 can say uh, part b it fuses with the nucleus of the ovum so during fertilization is the one that gets into the nucleus of the ovum because it contains genetic material then now we can mention that it carries genetic material because it carries genetic material is the one that fuses with the female genetic material 
So this is the role that is played by the part B, which is the new class. So now, uh, next question. Next question, say, explain the role of the organelle found in large numbers in part C. So in part C, which is the middle part, so in part C, then organelle that found in large numbers, it's a mitochondria. And then the function of the mitochondria is to produce energy during the respiration. So now let's answer this question. So the mitochondria, it produces energy. So this energy is used to move or the, the, the sperm uses that energy that is produced in the mitochondria to move. So which is needed for movement of the sperm. So this energy that is produced in organelle that is found in C, it is used for movement of the sperm. So yeah, this is how you, you will put it in an answer sheet. So now let's get to the last question. So the last question say, explain two reasons why sperm one is structurally better suited for fertilization than sperm two. So we must look at the structure of the sperm one and the structure of the sperm two. So why this one is suited or we can say this one it's normal. It might be normal for fertilization and then this one might not uh, fertilize an ovum. As you can see, this one is, it has acrosome. This one has no acrosome. So this acrosome is the one that is responsible to uh, penetrate the ovum. So if this one, it doesn't have an acrosome, it will be difficult. Even if it reaches the ovum, it won't be able to penetrate this ovum because this acrosome contains enzymes that are responsible for, for this sperm to pass or to penetrate the ovum. So if there is no acrosome, then it will be difficult because there won't be any enzyme. And then again, if you, if you can see the head of this one, it's more like an ovum. And then this one, it's cycle. And then again, uh, this one will travel easily, while this one, it will be difficult because of, I will say, friction. And then if you can see the tail, this one has a long tail. And then this one has a short tail tail so if you can see this these are the different structures that uh, i can take out from this diagram so now let's answer the question so first of all i will say the oval shape head so this one has oval shape head will facilitate faster movement so like i just say it will make the movement very easily because of the oval shape head and then Again, you can say the presence of an acrosome enables the sperm to penetrate the ova. So this acrosome contains some enzymes that will make the sperm to penetrate the ova. So if it doesn't have the acrosome, then it will be difficult for this sperm to penetrate the ova. And then the last thing, you can say a longer tail. So this one, as you can see, has a longer tail. This one has a shorter tail. So the longer tail ensure faster movement. So these are the structurally suited for this sperm to fertilize the ovum. So these are all the answers for this video. Uh, if you have watched to this far, thank you very much. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. If you are studying, good luck with your studies. Thank you very much. God bless you.